Do you have those annoying blinking lights that's basically saying your printer's waste pads are full? Ah! Well, I'm going to show you how to get your piece of junk printer back up and operating so that way you can continue to do prints. Stick around. Welcome back if you're new to the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Let's go ahead and dive right into this. A pretty simple, quick and easy process will cost you about 10 bucks in software. Let's go ahead and dive into the computer and I'll show you how to fix that pesky printer of yours. Let's do this. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go to resetkey.net. And this is not sponsored by any means, but I found this to work really great. And this will work for just about any printer, but the example that we're doing today is the Epson 1430. So I'm going to type in 1430 up in the search here. I'm going to hit enter and we're going to go down to where it says resetting Epson 1430 waste ink counter. It would be the same thing if you had a different printer model. You just go ahead and click on that. The software is for a Mac and PC, which is really great. A lot of them are for just a PC in general. So you'll just scroll down to where it says WIC reset utility tool. I'm on a Macintosh, so I'm going to go ahead and click that link. What it will do is download a software. I'm going to go over to my downloads and here it is here IWIC we're going to double click on that and then we're going to open the DMG if you're on a PC it's going to be an execute file so we're just going to go ahead and open that up now I'm going to open up the software and now what it's doing is it's looking for my printer it's looking for the 1430 and here's a little kind of quick start guide here it will help you if you get a little confused i found this pretty helpful but i'm going to show you how to essentially do this without that it's, it's pretty simple so here's my printer we can hit read waste counters right here and that will tell you if your lights are blinking yours are going to be 100 percent full i reset mine i had a whole video recorded where i was uh, going through this and it disappeared but this is the, the same routine or what you need to do. At this point, yours are going to say full, and then we're gonna hit reset waste counters. And at this point, it's going to ask you purchase a key. You can go here onto their website and hit get reset key. It's a, a dollar less. It's secure, had no issues, checked out with PayPal. Now, if you're to go back to the software and hit buy key, it's gonna be a dollar more. So I do suggest you uh, use this link here. And then what will happen is they'll email you a reset key, a one-time reset key. So here was my key, which if you try to use this key, it's not going to work because it's a one-time license. You'll basically take that reset key, copy it, go over to the software. So I'm gonna hit okay. The input key does not exist. That's because I had already used it, but you would plug that key in there and then hit okay. And it will go through the routine of resetting your counter it will ask you to turn your, your printer off once it's done its whole routine and then you'll turn it back on and you are ready to do some fresh mad prints. After your printer is reset, I would recommend you go over and buy a waste tank for your particular printer because your waste pads are already full and you don't want it to overflow and make a mess. Be sure to check out our video on how to install a waste tank for an Epson 1430 here up in the top right hand corner. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped get your printer back up and going so you can do your prints and film. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you later.